So hello, everybody. It's Miss Deegan, and I'm going to be answering Miss Karen's kindergarten class question. Where does the spotter, spotted lanternfly live? Um, and this is a great thing for kindergarten to be learning about because this is a garden pest for sure. It's like the ultimate garden pest. Uh, so let's learn a little bit more about them. So they, as an adult, they are about an inch long and a half inch wide, and they have these colorful wings. Um, the top part of their wings are brown with black spots. The bottom parts are white, black, and red, and their abdomens are yellow and black. But they don't look like that when they're first hatched out of an egg. They look just black and white, and then they have black, white, and red, and then they have wings. So um, their life cycle, I'll show you a diagram in just a second, but the eggs are laid in masses. And can you even see where the eggs are on this tree? It's kind of hard to see. If you look closely, you can see right here where my mouse is, um, but they're really good at camouflaging their eggs. Um, so the masses of eggs are about 30 to 50 eggs and they put a gray waxy substance over their eggs to protect the eggs and also um, to camouflage them, to, which is another form of protection. The eggs hatch in the spring and summer, and depending on the time of year, they will look differently. So it's January as I'm recording this, oops, and you're not gonna see any adults or nymphs during January in Connecticut, but you would see eggs. You might see the eggs at this time of year. So this is a diagram of their life cycle. They start as eggs. And then instar just means um, the, the phase at which they shed their exoskeleton and continue to grow. So there are pictures of what they might look like. Like I said, they're just black and white, black and white, black and white, black, white, and red. And then they get their wings. And then they lay their eggs during September through December. And so the question that was asked is, where do they live? So um, they are native. So native means that's where they're originally from. Um, they are originally from China, Vietnam, and Taiwan. This is um, Vietnam here. Uh, China, I don't have a picture of Taiwan, but I also put a question mark because we actually don't know how they got to America, but the best guess is that they basically hitched a ride on um, some sort of transport vehicle, whether that be an airplane or a ship. Probably, I would guess a ship um, that some eggs or an adult laid some eggs on a boat, and then they came over, and then they got off the boat, and now they are in the United States. And they were first found in the United States in September of 2014 in Pennsylvania, which is a state not so far away from Connecticut. And they were found in Connecticut in 2020. Um, I want to say in, in June or July, they were first spotted. And then there were many alerts put out to farmers and citizens in the state um, to ask anyone who sees one to report it and we'll talk about why in just a minute. So it's because they are super pest. So we have garden pests and we have garden friends, but the spotted lanternfly is like the ultimate garden pest for not just your garden, but for forests and for farms. You never, if I was a farmer, if I managed a forest, I, and even just as a citizen in Connecticut, I would never want to spot one because I know that that means bad things. Because what they do, and I've listed some of the trees that are, are at risk, apples, cherries, peaches, grapes, almost half of the forest trees are at risk. Um, and what they do is that they suck sap from the stems and leaves of plants, which weakens and damages the plant. And they also create this sticky, sugary residue called honeydew, and that honeydew attracts other insects and then also promotes the growth of a mold called black sooty mold. And this is what it looks like on leaves. So there's just so many of these, of these lanternflies in, um, in a mass, and they can really... They, they can lay eggs and feed on so many different kinds of plants that that's why they're, they're such a danger. And so if you see them, which you, 
if you do, I hope you don't, but if you do, um, they, they would look differently depending on the time of year. So these are eggs that were just hatched. These are uh, the fourth instar with the red and white and black. And these, this is what they look like um, when they are hatched and looking to lay eggs as adults. So that's when their, their wings are not being spread out. They just look gray. So the backside of their wings, when their wings are up, are gray. So if you do see them, or if you think you see them, if you think, oh my goodness, maybe this is a spotted lanternfly, take a lot of photos, write down where you were, and send the pictures to me. Or um, if you're an adult, you can go ahead and send those pictures right to this email that was set up just so that anyone who thinks they can spot this bug can report it because it's it's really a big threat to all of the agricultural products. Um, any apples or cherries or plums or apricots or uh, almonds, all of these things are affected by the spotted lanternfly. So I hope that answered your question and I hope I didn't bum you out. Most insects that I find in the garden are friends, but this one is most definitely not. It's, a, it's the biggest foe I can think of. So. I hope that answers your question and I hope you have a great day.